Hey there, today we're going to show you how to easily bring your customer data from your data warehouse into Braze to dynamically create customer segments. In this example, we will send data from our data warehouse to Braze so we can target a subset of our users based on when they first use our product. In Braze, I've created a segment titled First Users to capture users who first use our product before April 2020. Right now, this data doesn't exist in Braze. So let's use Census to get this data into Braze and ensure that it's populated for all users going forward. In Census, I first need to set up my connections. This includes both the data warehouse, where the customer data lives, as well as the service connection or destination where I want to send this data to. In this case, Braze. I've already added my Redshift data warehouse using the standard configuration details. Here, I've filled out the necessary fields, host name, port, database name, username, and password. Once my connection is set up, I can also test the connection to make sure that it works. I've also already added Braze as a service connection using the necessary configuration credentials. You can find the full instructions on populating the endpoint URL in our documentation, but generally you just need the number from the URL you see in your browser when you're assigned into Braze. For example, our Braze URL is dashboard-03.braze.com. So our endpoint URL will be what you see here with that dash 03 number as well. The API key can be found in the Braze console under App Settings Developer Console. Now that I've added my connections, let's go ahead and create a model to identify the subset of customer data that I want to sync to Braze. Census models use SQL queries to identify the subset of data to sync into a connection. If the data set has already been transformed in your data warehouse, the SQL query may be as simple as a select star statement, like we see here. On the other hand, if I need to create some of that business logic in the query itself, I can do so as well. As you can see, I define what a lead score is in this query itself. For our example, I already have a SQL query ready for the data we are looking to bring into Braze. Let's run the query to preview that it works. Looks good. Now we need to make sure our model has a name and save it. The final step is to create a sync, so let's go ahead and do that. First, we select the data we want to sync. The connection is the data warehouse where the data lives, in our case Redshift, and the source is the model we just created using a SQL query. Now we need to configure where this model is being synced to, so we've selected Braze as the connection and user as the object. At this point, we can choose how changes to the source are synced. In our case, we have the option of update or create because we want census to update existing destination records when the mapping key matches or create new ones if the data is missing. Finally, we'll choose the mapping key. Here, we will use external user ID from Braze and ID from our model. Now we want to select the fields we want to update with values from our model. This will auto match the field names, but in case one needs to be changed or one is missing, you can easily identify the right field name yourself. For example, here in Braze it's called data first session, but in our mapping, it's just first event. From here, we're ready to start our sync. Now that our sync is complete, I should be able to see that my segment in Braze has been automatically populated, so let's check that out.
I can now see that the segment is populated and going forward, this will give me the exact se segment that I need of people that use our product before April 2020. We can then use this segment to send out a personalized email campaign to these users. In just a few minutes, I was able to create a segment of users I wanted to target and brace using the complete and up-to-date data set from my data warehouse in Redshift. I can now easily create an email campaign targeting the segment of users, whereas before, creating this exact cohort would have taken me days, maybe even longer, because I would have to get help from my analytics team. If you want to learn how you can use Census to sync your data, contact us. In addition to Braze, we also support Salesforce, HubSpot, Iterable, Customer.io, and many other applications.